Yo, what's going on guys? Phil Cape here with NMS Gaming back with another NBA 2K22 video. In this video, I want to not necessarily rebuild the Chicago Bulls, but we want to take the next step to win the championship with the Chicago Bulls. So we're going to try to do this pretty realistically. We're not going to do you know anything crazy or anything like that. We're going to make like one minor trade. Um, I'm thinking trying to trading uh, Kobe White, maybe Vucevic. We'll kind of see some offers, see what there is. Um, so I simulated. I ended up with the ninth pick, and I can't trade it because of the rules in the game. So we'll kind of just maybe uh, go back a couple picks uh, and maybe pick somebody a little bit later. But this is kind of interesting to kind of see how the draft would unfold. So Jamari Smith did go number one. Jaden Ivey at number two, a little surprising there. Chet Holgram at number three. That seems pretty realistic. Shaden Sharp. I think uh, the mystery man there. I think that's a little high for him. I think he's going to go a little bit later than that. Uh, ben Vic Mathurin. Uh, again, I think that's a little high for him. Let's see who we got here with this next pick. And a trade coming in. Isaac and Ross for the sixth and a second rounder. Probably not a good trade there. For Detroit. And they take Terry Easton. It's kind of surprising there, maybe. And, uh, oh, pa Paolo Bencaro just comes off the clock. It's probably a little late for him. I'm kind of glad we didn't have a chance to get him or nothing like that. Don't want nothing like that. So let's see who is left here um, on the board. I always like to short, uh, sort by the DE rank. Um, so I definitely don't want to take like Adrian Griffin because I know he's not going to be available or Johnny Davis. I'm looking more for like a power forward or a center, maybe a small forward, some kind of a wing defensive player, uh, maybe some guy that can shoot. Um, Jalen Williams, no. Uh, Jake LaRivia, I'm not even too familiar with him, honestly. Um... Jalen Duran here. It'd be interesting. He could be the, the backup center, at least. Kind of a big body. He's not a shooter. He's more of an inside bruiser. Would be a, a big body rebounder. Uh, good for defense. Um, let's see what else we got here. Okay. So, Chan... I don't think he's going to go. I think he's going to go higher. I really don't want to pick him. Uh, Keegan Murray. That could be an interesting option here. He might go higher as well, but he's at least 15th here on this board. We'll take him. I think it's a good fit for us. Keegan Murray for Chicago. If we could get somebody similar to that, somebody that could play power forward, maybe play some small forward, maybe even some center if needed. Um, somebody versatile that could uh, really help out. So let's keep going here. We'll sign Keegan Murray to the roster. And uh, we'll definitely bring back uh, Ayo Dasumu. That is a no-brainer. And some of the uh, options here. Just kind of looking them over real quick. Because we got we still got to sign Zach. We can't forget about that. Um, so we're going to go through that to kind of show you what the, hopefully the Bulls don't have to go through. But yeah, I don't, don't think we're too worried about those guys right there. So we're, we're right there. Zach Levine looks like he's got a bunch of offers. So we're going to give him all the money that he wants right here. We'll even give him our early termination clause. Uh, no... And yeah, we're not going to give him a no-trade clause. And we'll offer that to him. We'll check out the offers here. What other teams might be offering him. Uh, that's not the right button. Um, let me bring it up here. It's been a little while since I've done this. So, uh, okay, view offers. There they are. Okay, so we're at 100% interest. So we should be looking pretty good. He's got a bunch of VS offers there. So he's definitely going to be taking our offer as it currently stands. And uh, the Bulls can offer the most money as well. So um, I think if they do that, it's going to be a no-brainer right there. Zach is going to resign if we offer him the most money. 
I think that is definitely realistic. We're not going to bring back Tristan Thompson. Um, I don't think he was a good fit watching him last year. Um, I think we're going to look elsewhere for the backup centers. Uh, we're not going to bring back Tony Bradley or Troy Brown Jr. or Derek Brown. Um, we might look to bring back Tyler Cook um, and Matt Thomas. So those are two guys we might target here. And over uh, looking over the free agents and the money that the Bulls have, which is about nothing, um, I was able to find this guy. Um, I know he's not a real guy, but he's really not that good, and he's never really going to play. But he's just a 3 and D guy. He's got a good three-point shot and some good perimeter defense. So we'll give him a shot. Um, other than that, we're not going to add anybody else. We got the Matt Thomas that we brought back, and uh, and Tyler Cook. So other than that, we're going to roll with this and see what can happen. Let's go ahead and take a look at our roster as it stands right now. We got Zach, Demar, Ball, Vucevic, White, Caruso, Desumu, Murray, the rookie Patrick Williams, and Jermichael Green, rounding out the majority of the rotation. So we're going to go ahead and. Let's make a trade here. I think we uh, need to make a trade. Here's the player progression. And Lonzo Ball does take a nice step forward. Hopefully we see that um, next season. And DeMar takes a back seat as the definite second or third fiddle. Uh, Vucevic remained the same. Kobe went up three. Caruso won. Desumo two. Murray went up two. Uh, Williams went up four. Um, so that's... Definitely, uh, Williams should probably be more closer to an 80 or so by then, um, or maybe even 81. So he's playing a little bit worse. Uh, maybe White's maybe a little bit higher than he should, maybe 79 or 8. Um, but let's go ahead. I think the move here for the Bulls is to trade Kobe White. Um, that's actually something the Bulls might would have maybe considered, but we're going to see some of these other offers. Um, I think we might need like a center or something like that. Let's actually throw in Vucevic as well and see if we can get a starting caliber center and uh, another good bench player, maybe another center, because um, we could use two big guys. So let's see what kind of offers here. Robert Williams and Derek White is actually not bad offer. I would highly consider that. Robert Williams, a young center on an affordable contract, would kind of fit what we would be looking for and Derek White basically would replace Kobe White off the bench. It's very interesting. Um, we may see what else is out there. He's only getting about 10 and 10. Not great stats. Definitely be losing some. Uh, Capella and Okongwu, not bad as well. Defensive minded center again, Capella. Doesn't really offer much on offense, though. Um, Okongwu is a you know a young center. Could still get better as well to play the backup. Not bad. Let's see what else is out there. Uh, okay, Bam Adebayo. And you're at seven. For, and then they added Marco. Okay. Um, I think I may actually do this. Bam is the kind of guy I'm looking for. Defensive-minded. Um, can still play, and he's got some good playmaking skills as well. I think he's actually a perfect fit. I doubt he would become available this offseason, but, you know, hey, this offer's on the table. Um, we're just seeing if anything else is on. Yeah, I think we're going to go back to that um, pick. We want Bam. I think, um, I think if the Bulls could pull off something like this, cash in two players for one good player, um, and get, you know, maybe a worse backup. I think that would be a good play to do um, at center. Getting somebody a little bit more defensive-minded, a little bit more playmaking. You know, he's going to score less, but that's fine because we have scores still, even though we got rid of Kobe. We still have guys that are going to score. Patrick's going to step up. Lonzo's going to step up. Um, you know, these things are going to happen. We feel confident with this team. What do you guys think? Is this a championship team tell me yes or no um before you get to the end of this video um and and you'll see if you will are right or what do you think is this a championship team zach levine demar DeRozan, lonzo ball bam Adebayo, alex caruso ao desumu keegan murray patrick williams 
Omir, you're seven. And, uh, you know, pretty much it right there. Green. But, uh, yeah, tell me what you think before you get to this. I think this is a championship team. They have a good mix of star players, good quality depth. I got There's defensive guys. There's three-point shooters. I think that is a championship caliber team. So let's go ahead and uh, get into this, guys. And we're going to sim basically the whole season here. Uh, we will load the next draft class, even though we probably won't draft it, really. We'll just, you know, kind of do everything like it would be in real life. But yeah, I think this team could definitely go all the way um, as long as we can stay healthy. Healthy is always the key. I mean, you never know what could happen in real life or in the simulation here. So let's see if we can win the championship um, this year, next year. We'll see how long it may take. But this is a good core, guys, I think has what it takes to get it done. And, uh, yeah, this actually... Don't look too bad with the uh, standard settings that they're giving us. Um, we might give Green a couple more minutes from year 7. Give him a little bit more versatility. Um, yeah, not too bad. They got Patrick in there starting. I was afraid they'd have Murray. I'd rather have Patrick in there starting. But yeah, that's good, good, good to see. And uh, yeah, we're basically just gonna sim to the end, uh, and I'll kind of I'll just skip here the sim, and we'll see uh, what kind of record we have, and then we'll watch more of the playoff uh, simming and stuff like that. Okay, so we are at the end of the season, and we have about the fifth power rank, fifth in the conference, so that's pretty good. We got a pretty decent record, then it seems like. So your rookie of the year was Chet Holgram. Um, could, could be realistic if he goes to OKC, he'll put up some stats like that. Kind of interesting to see Vince Simmons as a sixth man. Kobe White, the most improved, good to see him do good. Um, even though he was traded to an Eastern Conference, you know, that trade, I think, worked out good for both teams involved. Let's see if, uh, we got anybody winning any awards. Uh, we got Lonzo Ball, second team defensive. Um, doesn't look like nothing else. Um, yeah, yeah, oh yeah, these are the same ones. Monzo and the rookies. Yeah, oh. Kind of thought uh, Keegan might get rookies. Uh, looks like we're the fifth seed, and we got to take down Giannis in the first round. Kind of what we're used to. So uh, we'll do the play-ins here, and uh, we'll try to do it round by round. And uh, looks, here we go. And uh, the Bulls win. We win over Milwaukee. Four games to two. And then Patrick Williams had a little injury there. Hopefully he's okay. We'll just keep moving on here. We'll simulate the round here. And we take care of the magic. No problem there. Kind of surprising. The magic? Why are the magic that high? That's kind of surprising. But we'll take them down. And we take down Cleveland there. Cleveland is a rising team. Um, so that could be a matchup to look out for in a couple years. Cleveland coming in. So here we are in the finals. We're going to do it game by game here. The Bulls take a one to nothing lead on the Pelicans. And they fight back. <laughs> and uh, it's one to one here. We're getting a little nervous. Two to one, the Pelicans. All right. Come on now, Bulls. Let's go. We had a chance here to win it. Two to two. Here we go. Come on, baby. As we got a Crusoe is fully healed, and they win the next game. Three games to two. And uh, I actually did this with the, the Simcast here. Um, but it, it is only on five minutes. Um, I'm not going to make you guys watch this one. Um, the whole thing here. Because um, I actually have a better surprise for you. So I'll just go to the end. You guys can see the score. And then, um, yeah, we'll finish the video on the next thing after this. So we'll be back in a second. And as you do see, the Bulls do lose the SimCast on the five minutes. So I do want to fix it um, since it's going to Game 7. We'll do a 12-minute a game here, and uh, we'll leave it for the um, 
next video. I want to make another video, and we'll do the full simcast of the next video on the next one. Make sure you guys do hit the like button on the channel. Comment down below a few things. Tell me what you guys thought of this video, and uh, we'll show the simcast on the next video. We'll see you guys. Thanks for watching.